passenger airbag status light. When you see this light come on in your vehicle, should you panic or should you not panic? Let's start to discuss this. First, I have to give some warning because I was painting early in the day and uh, paint kind of got all over. So if you see paint here, here or anywhere else I have not discovered yet, please try to overlook that. So this is a 2008 Infiniti M45. In this vehicle, the status light is usually behind the rear view mirror, but in front of the sunglass holder right there. It might be in different locations in different vehicles, but for Infiniti and Nissan vehicles, what I'm about to discuss should be quite the same, right? So when this light comes on, it might cause some confusion. And I wanted to simplify it to break it down into three simple um, scenarios. One, if you see the light, yet you have a passenger in your passenger seat, you are allowed to panic. If you do not see the light, but you do have a passenger in your passenger seat, do not, do not panic. If you do not see the light, but you do not, and, and neither do you have a passenger in your passenger seat, do not freak out either. So let me try to break that down a little clearer. Obviously, it's got something to do with uh, your, your airbags, right? So this is your driver airbag. Well, it is your horn, but underneath there on the back, there is an airbag for your driver. Your passenger airbag is usually located over there. You can see a little bit of a shadow outline in this dashboard. In the past, you'd usually have an actually a cutout, and for whatever reason you needed to replace your airbag, you'd come in from the bottom, remove some nuts, and pull it up. Well, that's a little oversimplified, but generally that's what it is. Obviously, with these ones, um, it's a little different. And manufacturers of uh, newer vehicles for maybe aesthetic or other physical reasons for whatever benefits they were going for, I would say it's easier to make it like that. Chose to make them smoother, which, you know, it's it looks good, but it poses some challenges in case you needed to replace your airbag. Well, it's one of those systems that you hope to not really have to replace often, but we'll talk about it. So... In, I've shown this in previous videos, right? You already know what an airbag is supposed to do. So um, if you were in a front end collision or whatever other scenario, maybe even your sensors were tripping out and you were in an incident that might trigger your airbags to go off, right? You have curtain airbags and you have, well, you have front airbags, you have seat airbags and a kit. Can I? Yeah, there you go. You have seat airbags over there. So, side bolster air, airbags. Um, you, when you're in a front end collision, your driver airbag might go off. Your passenger airbag might go off. Both of these airbags might deploy. However, neither one of them could deploy, right? The, the car senses all these and uh, all these different scenarios and determines when to deploy your airbags. You also have your seat belts, which hold you in and in, in low impacts, there's no point in popping off the airbag. Uh, this one is pretty easy to replace. I've shown it in my other videos when it relates to steering wheel replacements because this is pretty much the first part. But that one there, and this is something they're dealing with with the Takata airbag recalls, you pretty much have to remove the entire dashboard cover. And that's not convenient. And if your airbag popped off, I mean, if it deployed, it pretty much damages the whole dash. So you have to replace the entire dashboard. So this is not the main reason for it, but it's a fringe benefit in that there is a system that says if that airbag does not need to deploy, then no point for it to deploy, right? So let's let's try to break down the three scenarios I gave you initially. Um, one, the light is on, yet you have a passenger. The, the main reason is this, your passenger seat usually has an occupancy sensor. It's not just a weight sensor, it's not just a size or weight sensor, it actually uh, determines position of, of the load to know if this deserves to be protected by an airbag. Well, so here I have an, um, my backpack and 
basically in in essence the backpack is not heavy enough for the system to say hey well uh, yeah you can use your airbag so the the two two reasons or rather two scenarios i'd see this being beneficial one you have a passenger that you don't really care for or you doesn't really need to be protected such as this one so there's no point in in having my airbag come out to protect my backpack right because if I really, really needed to secure it, I would have done a better job of protecting it. Second scenario is if I had a child or a car seat in my in my passenger seat, right? This person is pretty light and the airbag deploying would actually cause more of a, a danger to the person than protect them. So for that reason, the airbag is not going to deploy, right? So that is the first scenario. The, the light is on, meaning that the airbag has been turned off, yet you have a passenger. The main determination is that this passenger, for reasons, you know, calculated before you bought the car, it is best decided that the airbag should not deploy in case of an uh, in case of impact okay so that's scenario number one i know scenario number two i had given was that the light would be off and you actually have a passenger i will jump to the other scenario first whereby the light is off and you do not have a passenger let's that's pretty easy right let's just get rid of our passenger here see what happens just watch there you go light off so this scenario is pretty easy to to think about right because you don't have a passenger and if you were in a front-end collision why do you need the airbag to pop off and damage your dashboard if you don't need to right this one's very easy the third scenario is going to be a little actually well let's let's try third scenario is that you have a passenger but the light is still off so when i put this one back on and it's going to come on in three, two, one, and there we go. So we have a passenger, but the light is on. Uh, what I'm trying to do is trigger a scenario where this light is gonna go off while you have a passenger. So um, let's do this, let's try this. It might not really take it. I'll push down to try and give it some weight and let's see what happens. Okay, so the status light stayed on, but something else happened here. See that? I'm gonna release, uh, let go of the pressure. And that, that is a seatbelt light. Watch what happens when I, when I unbuckle my seatbelt as a driver. The seatbelt light came on. It's the same seatbelt light. And I clicked in and it released. So what, what that told me when I put my this is scenario three I'm trying to describe now. When I put my weight on it to try and make it weigh a little more like a, like a full grown human, um, it told me that, but your seat belt is not buckled in. What are we trying to do? So let's try to trick that. Okay, great. All right, so let's try to put some weight again. It should have gone off up there. Obviously nothing happened here, but that basically shows what I was talking about. It's an occupancy sensor. It's not just a weight sensor. It senses the positioning of the load and it can kind of tell me, hey, that load wasn't worth it. Or at least whatever determination has been made to say that you're trying to cheat the system here. So let's, let's do this. Let me unbuckle. Let me spread it a little even more evenly across the seat and buckle this. Okay. So I'm going to try the same thing and just push down this time a little more evenly. Let's see what happens. I've been able to cheat it with, uh, to cheat the system with a heavy enough backpack, but it's not gonna happen today. So just hang tight. I'll be able to show the third part. It's taking a little longer, but you'll be able to see it. So the seatbelt light came on for this. And let me jump over to the other side now. All right, so um, in the passenger side, this, uh, the backpack has been relegated to the floor. And here, what do we see? 
seal seat belt status light is it's on so let's buckle this in this is a driver's side I'm doing because as long the driver's seat doesn't really need a sensor as long as the engine is running you should be buckled in right okay you'll notice that the light is still on and that's because I as a heavy enough passenger have not buckled in so what I'm gonna do is this I'll just rise up off the seat see what happens to the light the light is off by the way right because again I weigh enough according to this system so I'm getting up off the seat right now and there you go so I'm floating and the seat belt light went off because by the weight sensor it doesn't think that I need to be buckled in so when I go back down the seat belt light comes on again and you'll notice that um, this this status light over here is off so basically this was the third scenario I was talking about let me let's go over it again one light is on you do have a passenger that means it's not gonna deploy Two, light is off, but you do not have a passenger like this. And that's fine. No one's complaining about that. Number three, light is off and you actually have a passenger. So let's just strap down. Remember we had the status light click. Unbuckle, click again. That's me as a passenger, right? And you'll notice that the, uh, the light went away. And likewise, the status light over here is off. So in this case, if I were in a front end collision and the front airbags were supposed to deploy, this one here would deploy and protect me again. So let's go over those scenarios again. I just want to reiterate that. One, if the, you know, actually I can, I can trip it. Just watch this. I said it was a position sensor, right? So let's relegate it even further to the outside those are gumballs i hate them I hate them I hate them oh. let's ruin something okay so i said it's a position sensor right so what i'm gonna do is basically lift one leg so that i'm just sitting on it a little crooked like this basically only one butt cheek on it <laughs> uh Usually, the light comes on for that as well because you're sitting weird and you're basically not spread well enough. Let me let me do this. I'm kind of just stretching out. Man, the things I do for video, huh? There you go. So I'm sitting rather awkwardly on this seat, and I don't have all my weight on it. And you know, the light came on again. Over there, the belt is fine, no problems, but the light is on so again as, as i said when i was i was trying to make this point is that it's not like the whole system is made to preserve that that's not the only benefit and i do not know enough to say that yeah this whole passenger airbag off system was made just to preserve the dashboards because you and i know that infinity told us to kick rocks about our dashboards however there's a benefit to it right and the benefit of that part where you have that status light, it's just to let you know that whoever it is that you put here is not going to be protected by that airbag in case you're hoping for that. So be it a child or be it a uh, grown adult who, for whatever reason, doesn't meet the size or weight threshold for this system to consider them worthy of protection by an airbag, it's something to be aware of. So um, I... I wanted to share as much as I could about uh, the system. I was just driving on my way home today. Um, it's been a lot of traveling lately. And it just, you know, the light came on because the backpack happened to be heavy enough this time. And I thought that would be a decent video to make. I hope this video um, does help explain the system a little bit. So when you do see the light, don't panic unless you have a child here or someone you care about. All right, so, and um, how does that relate to the Takata airbag thing? Basically, if the light is on, 
it should not deploy. They don't randomly deploy, that's what I think. I think it was just a matter of them deploying in an uncontrolled manner, right? I think so. But I, I can't speak authoritatively about that right now. So at this point, let's just call it good and leave the video where it is. All right. Good night and good morning.